Hello everyone and thank you for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply. From time to time we take video requests from our customers and this is a video request that was given to us by Warren. Warren this video is for you. Warren had requested that we show how to find a pin code uh, for key programming on a Kia or Hyundai vehicle when we have a working key. So today we're in a 2012 Hyundai Sonata. We have the working key in the coil on the Key Tool Max. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure our key tool max is connected to the internet, which it is. We're going to click on transponder clone. And then we're going to click on read transponder. The key tool max is going to read the type of transponder. That way it'll know the cloning process to uh, go ahead and uh, use. Then we click on clone. So now we're getting some instructions that detail how the process is going to go. We click on start. And we select Kia Hyundai pass password. So now the key tool max is going to read information from this key in depth and then it's going to upload it to the server. And again, make sure you have internet connection for this. And at this point, we need to sniff data from the vehicle. And you're going to sniff that data using the working key and then the programming slot if the vehicle has one. If the vehicle doesn't have a programming slot, then you would sniff this data with the key from the push to start button. That will depend on what type of vehicle you have. So if you're not sure whether you have a programming slot or whether you need to use the push to start button to sniff this data, you can look at the programming process for that vehicle. And so whatever those instructions tell you, if they tell you to put a programming, uh, put a prox in the programming slot for programming, then you need to sniff at the slot. And if it tells you that you need to present the prox to the push to start button to program, that's where you would sniff the data. So I recommend selecting original key clone long distance sniffer. So now the key tool max is ready for us to do the sniffing of the data. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the armrest here. We're going to place the key tool max as close to the programming slot as we can get it. And we're going to then insert the working key. And as you see, the key tool max was able to get the data sniffed from the vehicle. And now it's asking us to put the original key back into the key tool max, which we'll do. Now it's going to verify this data and it's going to use the server to calculate the password. And this process does take a minute depending upon your internet connection and depending on how busy the server is at Xhorse. So just be patient. It will process and uh, complete successfully. So now we have uploaded the information to the server and we're just waiting for our place in line. And there you see, success. And the password or pin code as most people refer to it, 781160. So now you can take that pin code and program the duplicate key to this vehicle and you don't have to uh, get the password by some other means. We hope that this uh, video is helpful to you guys and gals. And if you have any requests, let us know. Again, thanks for watching another video brought to you by International Key Supply.